Kirk asked for a uh, demonstration of this uh, Volstro milling head. So um, we'll see what we can do. Here it is set up on my bridge port. And I just want to show you a little bit of some of the function of this thing. So here um, we can adjust the, um, the, the length of the arc of the circle that we cut. So depending on how we crank this handle, um, it, it, you can see the measurement here um, to set the distance of the arc. And then if we take the handle and move it up here, then you can see as we turn the handle, the, the head spins around. And we can uh, look at this scale here. It's hard to see, I know, to tell you how many degrees you're rotating. Um, so that's basically how the, how the milling head works. I guess something I probably ought to mention while we're talking about the capabilities of the Volstro. Um, they give you this little doodad here that goes on the, um, the thing here that rotates the head. And then you also get a little belt thing here, which goes on the power down feed of, the, of your mill. And then you, are, I guess, are to run a belt between those two. And when you engage the power down feed, but don't, I mean, when you, when you switch it on, but you don't engage the down feed itself, you know, this, this would go around and that would, would power drive the Volstro around in a circle. Um, you know, I've never, my, my Volstro didn't come with the belt. I've never used it, but um, I guess, you know, it's something that somebody might do, I guess. I don't know. So here we go. We're going to mill a half moon in this piece of cast iron. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to move the, the Y of the table in to the beginning of the arc. And look at my DRO, you can't see that, but... Um, so there's zero. Okay, now... I'm going to rotate the Volstro head around and it's cutting the arc. Now I want to finish up back at 180 degrees, so I need to get in here and look if my eyes aren't that good. There we are, right there, and I lock the bolster rotation. And then I'm going to finish up by moving the y-axis of the table. And there we go, we're all done.